Hi, I'm Abby from Ratings.com. In our review of the Hisense U8N, we mentioned that the results of that review applied to all the other sizes, except perhaps the 55-inch model, which the manufacturer advertises as having a different peak brightness, and the 75-inch model, which uses an ADS Pro panel instead of a VA panel. Many of you requested that we review the 75-inch model to see how it compares to the other sizes. Well, we listened. We bought and tested the 75-inch model of the Hisense U8N. So, how does it compare? Does it truly have worse contrast with a wider viewing angle as expected? Well, it performs as we believed it would in most ways, but there are some surprises. Since this TV is mostly identical to the other sizes of the U8N, we won't rehash their similarities. This model has all the same features as the smaller and bigger models, like local dimming, Dolby Vision, ATSC 3.0, Wi-Fi 6E, and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on two ports for up to 4K at 144Hz gaming. You name it, it has it all. It even looks identical. So, feel free to check out our review of the 65-inch U8N if you're curious about the TV's design or feature set. So what are the differences then? Well, every year, some TV manufacturers release a single TV model that uses a variety of panel types, usually based on the size of the TV. In this case, Hisense has used VA or ADS Pro panels. And every year, we say that the differences between the two are that ADS Pro panels have worse contrast but better viewing angles than VA panels. This is exactly what we found with this 75-inch model. But we'd be lying if we said we weren't a bit surprised at how much worse the contrast on the ADS Pro panel is. The contrast ratio is about a sixth of what we find on the other VA equipped sizes. Side by side, there's no doubt that the 75 inch model has noticeably worse contrast than the other sizes. As the VA U8N's contrast is so good, you get black levels approaching OLED territory. This isn't quite the case with the 75 inch model. Thankfully, the 75-inch U8N performs well when it comes to blooming and lighting zone transitions. Contrast is related to black uniformity, so unsurprisingly, the VA models have much better black uniformity. The 75-inch model is no slouch here, though, and with local dimming enabled, it performs almost as well as the VA models, but the latter type still has the edge. Now, we didn't expect this one. The 75-inch U8N has noticeably lower peak brightness levels than the 65-inch U8N both in our real scene tests and in our test slides. While the 75-inch model is still very bright, you can spot the differences between it and the 65-inch model. It's especially noticeable in our real scene hallway lights and yellow skyscraper tests, as the 65-inch U8N can almost max out the 700 nits yellow skyscraper test and is noticeably brighter in the hallway lights test. So with the 75-inch model, you get both worse contrast and lower peak brightness levels in HDR. But it can't be all bad for the 75-incher, right? Indeed, it isn't. While it isn't as bright overall, it is more accurate. Its near blacks are a bit more raised than on the VA U8N, but while the VA models are noticeably overbrightened across the entire curve, the ADS Pro model is instead just a tad too dark on average while still following the curve more closely overall. Ah, viewing angle. IPS, or ADS panels, tend to have an obvious edge here against VA panels, and that's exactly what we see. While the ADS Pro panel loses brightness just as quickly as the VA panel, it performs better in every other metric. Colors stay true at wider angles than on the VA panel, and black levels only raise at extreme angles on the ADS panel. Still, the viewing angle isn't fantastic here by any means. For the most part, you need an OLED for truly exceptional viewing angles. But on a bigger TV, it's nice to have a wider viewing angle like this one has, even if it's far from perfect. We've seen that the 75-inch U8N is noticeably dimmer in HDR than the 65-inch U8N, but thankfully the difference between the two is less dramatic in game mode. Here, the two TVs mostly trade blows depending on the test. So if you're a gamer, you're in luck, as you'll have a similar experience, at least when it comes to brightness, to what you'd get with the other sizes of the U8N. Unfortunately, we can't say the same about the TV's response time. It's faster on the VA U8N than it is on this model. However, it's not all bad, as the ADS Pro panel has some advantages. In particular, it's much more consistent than the VA panel, and there's far less black smearing on the 75-inch model overall. 
Here, you're getting a worse but more consistent response time performance. Finally, the 75-inch model's distortion performance is better than that of the smaller models. This could be due to the bigger model's larger cabinet, giving the sound more space to stretch its legs, metaphorically speaking. Still, you'll want to get a soundbar. So, if you're looking for a Hisense U8N, should you strongly consider the 75-inch model over some of the other sizes? Well, no, you probably shouldn't. Outside of its wider viewing angle and more accurate image in HDR, the 75-inch model is the worst performer. The difference in contrast alone is very noticeable, especially on a TV this big. Sure, you're getting a more accurate image, which stays accurate at wider angles, but at the cost of a noticeably less vibrant image overall. Plus, if you really care about viewing angles, you should shop for another display technology. OLED. <coughs> If you're looking for a 75-inch model and aren't interested in an OLED, then the Hisense is a decent option, especially if you're dead set on having a wider viewing angle. But for that size, you can also consider the 75-inch QM8. The QM8 offers better image quality overall, but with a worse viewing angle, so we tend to recommend it to most people shopping for a 75-inch LED TV in that price range. And that's all we've got for the Hisense 75-inch U8N. If you want a more detailed write-up so you can pour over charts and graphs galore, check out our full review in the link below. Or check out the review of the regular Hisense U8N. Until next time, I'm Abby from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best product for your needs. People on the internet, they keep being like, stop using vocal fry. I'm like, I, I'm not trying to use vocal fry, I just, um, I'm just fried. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my my yolk sweater on. <laughs> I'm just an egg, man. <laughs> I'm just an egg on the internet. <laughs>